tell you, you don't know this at all, but this is how I, I'm not going to say I met you, but something happened, Jesus, 17 years ago. I guarantee the story is going to make me furious. No, I don't think so. I, I don't think I so. Know, I just know it's going Because here's the thing. Go ahead. You are far better looking and cooler than I will ever be. Okay, so that's established. He doesn't mean that. No, I so mean that. He's saying it, but he doesn't Let really me mean it. Let me explain the story. He's playing humble. I'm with you. I'm right, with so you. we're going in like probably 99, 2000. Okay, right after Blade, you're you're you know the the young, hot, good-looking dude. You're you're there. You're there. We are. My brother and I are at a nightclub here in New York called uh, Spa. Okay, it was like a hot spy, maybe? spa, maybe spy, spy bar, spy bar. One of the I can't maybe. remember. Just talking okay. eight, seventeen years ago. Okay, now. yeah. And my, I have a twin brother, but he looks nothing like me. He's like five seven. I'm six five. We have a table with like four girls, and we feel cool. We're not cool. We feel cool for the one time in our life. <laughs> we have this table. Okay, I didn't tell you the story ahead of time. I hope I didn't do anything mean. No, but no. here's the thing. I hope to God it wasn't mean. You did something. This is what it is. Mean. This to me was the. Epitome. I hit on one of the chicks. No, no, no. Oh. This was the epitome of I will never be this cool. Mm -hmm. So we're sitting there and we think we have like you know shit going on. We got a VIP table. Blah blah blah. And in you and your freakishly small brother. Well, I'm the freakishly large. He's. Somewhat average, but I'm your friend. I pick okay, your thank side. you so much. He's five eight. I'm six five. Yeah, we're twin brothers. Gotcha. He's a freaky yeah. small weirdo. And we have three or four girls at the table. We think we're cool. In walks Steve. You're holding their passports. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wasn't into the Russians then. At that point, uh, oh. Stephen Dorff walks in. Okay, walks towards our table, ties his shoe on our uh, like banquette. <laughs> Love it. Jesus. And then walks away. Perfect. And it was such an emasculating moment for him. Like, that dude is so much fucking cooler than me. I will never be that cool. Wow, you see that guy tie his shoes? What a badass. <laughs> it, was, it was such a badass because you put what it right up form. next to me. Do like, you remember the shoes I was I, wearing? I don't remember. Yeah. But to this moment. Bruno Mollies. Like, when we, we heard Stephen Dorfman's coming, it was the first thought I thought. I was like, that was like <laughs> the moment. Mollies. I'm like, I'm never going to be that fucking cool. To those cool. girls. Uh, well, not so, they probably right? all left the table. I had to try to block that part. I hope out. my shoe didn't get on like no. one of your drinks. It just was such a cool moment. I hope you rubbed a dog shit right into his drink. <laughs> 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 My when in doubt, friend. tie your shoe. When in doubt, man. Christine, watch this. And I'm sorry. I apologize for the wet pussy. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. You guys are filming. Look at that. Look at the finesse that he's doing that. Are you guys doing a podcast? Let me just tie my shoe. The SDR Show.